Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today it is kind of a gloomy day, but we are going over to the flea market for their 35th anniversary. There's a bouncy castle as well as food, and then they also invited me to come. It should be a lot of fun. And if you've seen my other flea market videos, you would know that there is a lot of Funko Pops there, so fingers crossed we can find something cool, and let's get started. And just like that, everybody, we made it. And I told you there was gonna be a bouncy castle. I think I'm a little too big for it, but it's cool that they've got it. Okay, so we've now made it into the flea market and I'm over here at Kevin's booth. And I gotta say, he's got a lot of really great Funko Pops. Like if you guys wanna check out the back wall, this is what it's looking like. Some really amazing figures. I'm probably gonna have to get something. Oh, and you know what guys? I just noticed at the bottom there, they have a lot of the Minecraft ones. I might have to get a couple. I got a little bit closer if you guys wanna check them out. They've got Alex as well as Steve and then the normal skeleton Ocelot and the charge creeper. And I'm pretty sure out of all of them. This is the only one that I've got in my collection, so I'm debating on getting another one, and I'm thinking maybe Steve? That one could be fun today, especially because it's only 25. That's honestly not too bad. Now, this is kind of crazy, guys. I want to show you guys something that I haven't seen in person yet. This is the first one ever that I'll be signing. It is the Top Pops plushie. Take a look at this thing. Hey, thanks so much for bringing it. And if you guys are wondering where I signed it, right on the back of the hair, so you can still see my face on the front. Now, I thought I was just going to be signing as you two's today, but we also have Aaron bringing over the Roger Ramjet. You want me to open it up to see if I get the chase? for you? Yep. Okay, here, I'll pass you the camera. Let's see how you do here. Now let's open this thing up. Ooh, okay, so the chase I believe is black and white. I think, so let's see what we get here. I'm not gonna look in the bottom yet. Okay, is it gonna be black and white? Oh, it's the normal Roger Rimmed. It's still, I'm gonna say it, still a nice soda. I mean, it's a great one. Now we've got a bit of downtime, so I figured I might as well show you guys this wall over here. We've got a lot of the black light ones, as well as Doug Days, and the one that I really wanna get is the Supreme Strange statue. That thing looks amazing. Especially because this one was only inside of the Marvel Collector Core box, and I was never able to get it, so you know what? I'm probably gonna be bringing this one home today. And then also over on this side, guys, we've got a couple of the Star Wars 2 packs, the Amazon exclusive Eagly, Ja Morant, we've also got like Be Real as Dr. Green Thumb, kind of a weird one, but then way up top there, I noticed this older Funko product of Atom Bomb for only 40 bucks. I'm also probably gonna be getting this today. I also noticed over to the left over here, guys, they have the brand new Attack on Titan Hot Topic exclusive. Oh, it's kind of stuck in there. There we go, check this out, guys. It is like completely clear. I don't know if Noah was on the hunt for this one, my brother. I might have to ask him about it. Okay, so I asked him and he said he doesn't want it because he doesn't have space. It's a poor excuse. Now I gotta show you this, guys. I signed a Funko Pops today, the Power Rangers Turtle. Thanks so much for bringing it. Now guys, I ran into some of the biggest Top Pops fans, Oliver and Mason over here. How's it going? I'm also really enjoying your buttons. They look pretty nice. <laughs> no, guys, right after somebody brought the plush, we also have the figure here. Thank you guys so much for bringing no it. No problem. <laughs> and then if you guys want to check out their YouTube channel, here is their sticker. Pretty cool. Now, guys, we've got another soda that we're going to be opening up. This one here is Landon's. You're hoping for the chase today? Okay, go for it. Let's see what you get. And it is Flock. And it is not Flock, but I mean, come on, guys. It's still a really great soda. Hey, thanks for opening up. Oh, and I just noticed, guys, that they have some of the Inside Out ones, and they just announced Inside Out 2 over at D23, so pretty cool to see today. Okay, so we're now out of that booth, and we're about halfway through the day, and we're switching over over to another booth. We're actually over at Dave's right now. Uh, <laughs> anyways, so right now I wanted to let you guys know that I did end up picking up a couple figures. I'll show those when we get back to the office. But now we're over here just having fun and checking out these pops too. And now you know what guys, I'm just noticing sitting across here there is an ALF cookie jar. I gotta find out how much that is. And now just like that everybody, I am now the proud owner of an ALF cookie jar. Now since we're over here at Dave's booth, we might as well take a look around because he has a lot of amazing figures. Like over here is a lot of the Pokemon as well as animation and then Papa Pig is always a funny one to see as well. Some anime, he even has some, these movies? I think so. Huh, kind of cool. And then a little bit farther over, we've got like DC as well as just some like superheroes in general. And I guess like Spy Drew is here. Kind of a funny one. Oh, and then over here on the far left, it looks like he's got some Pocket Pops as well as Pez, which you don't see very often. And I believe I have most of these ones. I don't know. I'd have to check my collection. And now when it comes to the cabinet, this is where he puts a lot of his more expensive stuff. So if you guys want to take a look. Oh, wow. This is cool. One of the Pokemon movies. And then we've also got like Kratos over here as well as Bull. Bullseye, Sherlock, and then the one that I'm on the hunt for, and I'll probably be picking up eventually, is the Crystal Blue Heisenberg. I actually asked him if he could save this for me, and he said he would for next time we come, so I've already bought a lot today. Stay tuned for that, though. Yeah, I'm going to be getting this eventually. And I know it's a little bit hard to see in the cabinet, so if you guys want to see a photo, there it is. And then over here on the other side of the booth, there is a lot of interesting characters, and I'm pretty sure this is where most of the newer ones go. It kind of looks like it, because like Jeff Spicoli from Fast Times at Ridgemont High, 
We've also got like the Ryu and Bright Bomber. Just like a bunch of interesting figures. Now guys, I've been bugging them for long enough and they finally got some sealed soda. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna pick up a couple today. And the ones that I don't have chases for yet is like the Sock Monkey as well as, ooh, the Black Light Mare. These could be cool. Oh, and then past the figures that we just looked at, there's another corner full of figures like the Remy down there, which I love. I was actually able to pick that one up a little while ago over at Box Lunch, as well as some of like the Hikari's out of box figures, Space Mountain and Mickey Mouse, some of the 10 inch ones, like, a, oh, actually, Actually, never mind. This is where they've got all of their Disney ones. Okay, that makes sense. And now, if you want to take a look at their entire section, this is what they've got. I gotta say, it is a lot of really cool ones, especially like the Merry Minstrel from Haunted Mansion. That's a weird one you don't see very often. Now, guys, I normally don't show off the My Little Pony figures, but I ran into this one here, the Gemini Collectibles Exclusive Rainbow Dash. Look at that old sticker. Now, I was stuck at the booth for most of the day, but I decided to do a little bit of walking around right before they close. I've got about like 20 minutes. Let's see what we can find. And now, the first booth that I ran into, guys, is one over here at the front where they've got a lot of Star Wars figures. And actually, a lot of the ones from the Smuggler's Bounty Box. So if you guys want to take a look at it, there's a pretty good amount of them. As well as over here, you've got like Poe Dameron with X-Wing, as well as a couple two-packs. And then there was the Han Solo with Tauntaun, which I actually asked about the price, and they should be going to check for me. And so if it's nothing too crazy, I'm probably going to grab it. And just like that, everybody, we got them for 35 bucks. And now every time I come, I always like to look at this Lego section, because they always have weird stuff, like that Ninjago one up there, as well as Knight's Kingdom, and then these elves, and then this one over here, guys, one that I've never seen before for MSC Cruises and for only 30 bucks, I might grab it just for fun. Okay, so I got the Lego set and then also while I was over there, he asked me if I was the pop guy and I said yes. I mean, I figured he was talking about me. So he offered me a figure for like 50% off and I was like, of course I gotta get it. I'll show you the crazy one though when we get back to the office. And then since I'm back here, I figured I might as well check out this pop section where they have a lot of really great ones and it seems like there might be some new ones up top. It's kind of hard to tell with the amount they have here. But one thing that I am really enjoying is that Ant-Man up there and then we also have like Mew, and then we've got Hawkeye, and I don't know if there's anything that I'm really on the hunt for, but it's always great to check. Okay guys, so that was the flea market. A little bit different than usual because I was at a booth saying hi to everybody that came by, but it was seriously a lot of fun. And if you were able to make it out here today, thank you so much. And now the best part is guys, that's not all the hunting we're gonna be doing for today because I also wanna go to Hot Topic. It's not too far away, so I'll see you there in a second. Okay, so we made it to the section and I gotta say, there is a lot of stuff here today, especially Christmas ones because they have all or most of the snowmen ones. So I don't know how many I'm gonna be getting today because I would like to do this closer to Christmas, but then again, I don't wanna miss out on them. So I don't know, I'll think about it. But then we also have some of the Guardians of the Galaxy ones over here, as well as the gingerbread ones. And I think that they have most because they've got the Flash, Superman, Aquaman, Wonder Woman. And then there might be one more in this set. Yeah, Batman, ah, it's too bad they don't have him. And then below that, it looks like they have some of the My Hero figures, actually a buttload of them. And then right below that, ooh, they have some of the Five Nights at Freddy's ones. I definitely have to get both of these. And if you guys want to take a look at them, here is the Foxy here. They actually did kind of like this tie die set and then on the back there are still two more that I need to get Freddy as well as Bonnie so I'm definitely gonna be getting those today and then we'll probably head for the other one some other time. Oh and I didn't even notice guys up here they've got a bunch of Aaron Harden the one that we saw over at the flea market but then Noah said he didn't want it because he didn't have enough room for it and now that I'm able to get it for retail which is like 32 bucks I am definitely gonna be grabbing this for him I don't care what he says. Oh shoot I didn't even notice this one over here I thought it was just Hades with pain and panic but then I also saw they have Scar with hyenas. Ah, oh, I gotta get them. Okay, so we're back from Hot Topic, and I think we're gonna start with what I picked up over there, and then we'll get into the flea market stuff. And I guess we'll start with these two first, the Tie-Dye Foxy, as well as Tie-Dye Chica. And now it's too bad that they didn't have Freddy and Bonnie, but I will pick them up as soon as I can find them, and I'm hoping that I can soon, because I would love to have this entire set complete. Also, something I wanted to find out is if these are like the normal art series ones, where they're like a little bit thinner, or are they the normal characters? Um, you know what? It's kind of hard to tell, because it's definitely just like a white Funko Pop underneath, but it feels like this is a normal figure instead of that kind of like thinner one that they did with the original art series where it felt hollow. These feel pretty solid. And so like I said, as soon as I find those other two, I will be picking them up right away. And if you guys want to see an entire video where I look for Five Nights at Freddy's stuff, I could totally do that. Then when it came to the Christmas figures, I picked up two of them today because it's not even Halloween yet. It was super early. I decided, let me just grab my favorites and then we'll worry about the rest of them later on. So the two that I got today was the Snowman Darth Vader as well as the Gingerbread Flash. Because, I mean, they're cool, but it's still way too early. Like, I would like to pick up the Halloween figures before I have to worry about these ones, but I at least want to get the ones that I think could be hard to get later on, and I thought these two would definitely be that. 
And like I mentioned while I was in the store, they had already sold out of Gingerbread Batman, so fingers crossed I can find that one again. And now when it comes to the new Star Wars ones, a lot of people have been dogging on them, and I think it's because they just kind of look like an arts and crafts project, but that's what snow is, and for some reason I'm really enjoying them, especially because they gave them like the carrot nose as well as the sticks for arms. It's pretty funny. Oh, and when it comes to the Gingerbread Flash, there was something that I wanted to show off really quickly, and it's the way he's actually standing, because they put little gingerbread lightning bolts behind, I don't know, I thought it made this figure super unique unique. Because there has been a couple flash pops in the past where he does have the lightning behind him, but never like this made out of gingerbread. I mean, it would be weird if they did it for any other figure, but I thought it was perfect to add to this one. Then I did end up grabbing the Scar with Hyenas, because I do want to get this entire set, and I believe there is, yeah, it says on the back here, there's six of them, and they're all going to connect together in the end, so if you guys want to check it out, that is what it's looking like, and I can't wait to have the other four in the collection. And now taking this one out, I gotta say, this is a super detailed pop, and I could tell it was going to be one from the glam shot, but having it in person and being able to hold it, it's just a whole nother level. I'm really enjoying it. And then everybody, of course, the last figure that I got was something for Noah. So I don't actually know much about this one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there he is right now. Noah, come on, come on over, come on over. I, I got something for you. Now I know I actually put it in the video. You said you didn't want it. Well, I didn't say that. I do like it, but I don't have enough room on my shelves right now. So I do like it, but it was more of a space problem and it still is. So I actually don't know where I'm gonna put it. Okay, so here's what happened though. When I was at the flea market, they had it for $50. And then when I went to Hot Topic after, they had it for like 32. Oh. And I'm like, this is retail. I mean, I gotta get yeah, it. Yeah, of course. Because space, it's not an issue. If you really want the figure, I'm gonna get the figure for retail. You know what I mean? If I can find it, you might as well. So they're already selling it for more? Um, well, I'm sure they just bought it at the like the Hot Topic and then brought it to the flea market I right guess. away. I guess, So it's a pretty cool one. I don't know much about it. I figured you might be able to describe it a little bit more. I don't know. I don't know exactly why it's like clear in that, but I know when he like exits his Titan, sometimes he makes it also like hardened, like it says. Okay. I'm probably actually like, I watched it. I've watched the show and I don't know the like every intricacy about it, but I do know that's sort of what happens. He gets out of it. And then when he gets out of it, it's it's like hard and it looks like that. It's still pretty neat. I figured it was a cool one. I haven't seen anything like this for Attack on Titan, so yeah, it's all yours. I'm sure someone in the comments will know exactly why it looks like this and exactly what part of the show this is at. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a very cool one. I, I, I saw it and I like it. But like I said, I didn't have any space for it. So I didn't purchase it. But then Tristan was nice enough to pick it up for me for retail, which is even better. Because that was like That's $20 why I got cheaper. It. So That's why I got it. Perfect. So why not? Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Alrighty, now let's get into the stuff that I got over at the flea market, starting with the first booth where I got two normal size figures and then one pretty massive one. And the first one that I got here is actually Steve from Minecraft. I've been wanting this one for a little while and I figured it was the best one to get out of all of them. And I know that they had pretty much, actually now that I'm looking at it, pretty much the entire set, but I felt like this one was the best one to grab. Especially because I do already have a creeper in my collection as well as an Alex. And I think I do have a Steve, but I don't have a normal one. So I thought it'd be fun. And then the other normal figure that I ended up grabbing was was this one here, the Marvel Collector Core Supreme Strange Statue. I wasn't able to get the box when it came out on Amazon, so I figured this one for 25 was not a bad deal. Also, out of all of the Collector Core figures that have released over maybe like the last six months, this one's gotta be my favorite. And then everybody, I did end up grabbing that massive atom bomb. I mean, I couldn't pass up on this thing, especially because it is a Funko product. And it was also only $40, which I figured couldn't have been much more than when it first released. I'm also really enjoying the box on this thing because it's supposed to look like an original Garbage Pill Kids pack of cards, like even the folds on the top, it's pretty accurate. And if you guys are curious when this one released, it was back in 2015. And then everybody, I was able to get, I think my favorite thing of the day that wasn't a pop, of course, the ALF cookie jar. And I think one of my favorite things about this, Hmm, sorry about that guys. Anyways, one of my favorite things about this cookie jar is the fact that it looks like it's actually handmade. And I found out that this is something that they just made in the, Sorry guys, I'm paranoid that Alf is gonna show up. I don't know. Can Every I time. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Alf. You can't just. What, what are you doing? Oh, I saw myself on the table and I got a little confused. Yeah, I mean, I guess whenever I talk about Alf, you always seem to pop. You, you weren't popping up earlier. Anyways, what do you want? I wanna put a cookie in myself. You don't even have a cookie. Yeah, I do. Oh. Um. Alright. Do you wanna do the honors or should I do the honors? I just want to watch you do it. Uh, okay, um, so you take the top off, like the top <gasps> half. <laughs> I'm, uh, is this, sorry, 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 sorry. Well, Alf, if I can't open you up, how am I supposed to put the cookie inside? I don't know, I didn't think this through. <laughs> um, here, okay, I'm gonna open it up. <laughs> okay, 
and then Alf, you, you want to watch, you put the cookie inside. Yay, cookie! <laughs> All right, now Alf, just, just get out of here. Get out of here. All right, well, thanks for showing me the cookie jar. Yeah, no problem. No, 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 no. Oh. And so now, guys, I guess after the Alf cookie jar, let's get into the next thing here, which is going to be the Hoth Han Solo with Tauntaun, which I only got for $35. And I gotta say, this was a pretty decent deal, and I think I got it for a little bit cheaper because the box wasn't in perfect condition. There's a little bit of a ding in the front corner there, but honestly, I don't care. Oh, and I don't know if you guys knew this, but I've actually been on the hunt for this one for a little while now, and I was glad that I was able to find it today. It's pretty much like whenever I went to a comic book store or anything like that, I would try to look for this figure, and they never seem to have it and then today oh oh i didn't know this okay so the base pops off of this one and then you can just see the han solo with tauntaun it's pretty neat by itself and I don't know why, but I remember a couple years ago, Funko did start to glue the characters to their bases, but I guess this was before that. Now, let me see if I can slide this guy back on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, not too shabby. And no, I don't think I showed this off, but if you guys want to take a bit of a closer look at the front of the Tauntaun, it's pretty cute. And now this next bag of stuff is kind of random, but it's some really neat stuff. And I guess I'll show you guys the Funko Pop that I got for a really, really great deal. It was this one here, the French Bulldog that I only got for $50, when it's worth about $170. He said he gave me the deal because there was a bit of shelf wear on it and if I'm gonna be honest it really isn't that bad like there's a little bit but it's nothing too crazy and I'm super glad to have this one because it's my first pop pets in the collection and if you guys didn't know Funko actually created an entire line of pets back in like 2016 and I wish that they continued this because we never did get a Shih Tzu so that's why I really didn't buy many of these guys or actually now that I think about it this is the first one I've got in my collection so I didn't buy any of them when they first released then the Lego set that I picked up I know I showed you guys it while I was over at the flea market but this is just such a random one I ended up going for it the MSC cruises I didn't even know that this thing existed so maybe I'll do a video on the second channel if you guys would like to see it because it would take a little bit to open it up today I figured this could be a fun video by itself and if any of you guys have any more information about this set please let me know because at the moment all I really know about this one is that it came out in 2016 so the same year as the French Bulldog kind of a weird coincidence and now everybody I guess we're gonna be ending on some sodas today because I ended up picking up four of them we got two of the sock monkey which I still need the chase for as well as two of this one here the mare which i'm really pumped about and so i guess let's start with the sock monkey and the chase for this one is it completely orange instead of blue and i would love to get it today Alrighty, so here we go let's find out if we got that orange sock monkey please be in here please be in here come on ah it's the blue one and so now everybody let's get into soda number two and find out if we got the chase on this one because i do already have the common i don't need another one and uh here we go please be the chase it is ah I'm seeing another blue monkey. Well, guys, it is too bad, but it's still a really nice one. And I would say I'd give it to my mom, but I've opened up so many of these. She already has like two of this thing. I don't know what to do with them anymore. And so next up, guys, I guess would be the Mare Soda. And fingers crossed we do get a chase for this one because I believe it's just different colors than the black light on the back. I think it's something like that. And also, I'm looking at my soda collection. I don't believe I have any of the Mare Soda. I definitely have Jack. And then I think I might also have Sally. I'm not 100% sure. Either way I do not have the chase for the mare so let's get into this one here and find out if we got it okay this one here seems to be the common yeah it looks like it I know hold on just to make sure let me check the bottom here this is yeah the common mare limited to one out of 6,700 so now let's get into this one here and find out if I can get it out of here if we got the chase please be different please be different ah it's the common one again ah well anyways guys there you go that is everything for today and let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite thing that i found at the flea market or also if you guys have been to a flea market recently and maybe found something cool what was that but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed if you want to see more from me in the future don't forget to like comment subscribe do all that but this has been upside top pops popsters thanks for watching see you guys tomorrow